Hey, I'm so glad you're back for another visit. Today we're going to be talking about hand cutting alfalfa hay to store for winter. shout out to Myrna, Liddell, and the rest of their family for allowing me to come and take out all of this alfalfa hay before they put their lawn in. I'm so grateful for this opportunity. Thank you so much for making this possible. So I'm filling up my little wagon with all of this gorgeous alfalfa hay and it's going smoother than I thought. I've gotten quite a bit cleared out this morning. This has been very labor intensive. If you do have the ability to use farm equipment, I see no problem with that. But in my situation, this is perfect for me and has been a great blessing that has come into my life. So I am so glad to be sitting here doing this today. The biggest trick, the biggest trick I'm finding out is where to find out what I've cut and what I haven't. I have found over the last couple of decades that being in gardens and in the fields and outdoors is very therapeutic for me. I am very fortunate that I'm alive today I am grateful to the people that continued to believe in me and fight for me, even when I wouldn't fight for myself. Because of them, I'm here doing what I'm doing right now. And I am so grateful to even be able to take a breath. You can hear my animals in the background. Some of them are a little distraught that they see me across the fence instead of in our own yard. Perhaps one day I'll be able to hire someone to go and cut fields of Timothy hay and alfalfa hay for me. But until that day, I am super happy to be where I'm at and doing what I'm doing. I'm grateful for each of my little sheep, my ducks, chickens, dogs, the cats, the guinea pigs, my home, and our field. I'm really getting a taste and a feel for how they used to do it before all this machinery came around. So it's really, I'm enjoying it. As I was working here in the alfalfa field, I had my cats stop in for a visit. They stayed for a little while, played in the alfalfa, wondered what I was doing, and then they went back home. Now, because I'm afraid it, it might rain today, I am going to pretty much be cutting what I can take and store under a uh, shelter today without letting it sit, because if it gets wet, it loses half of its nutritional value. After, if it gets wet after it's been cut, it loses half of its nutritional value. I'm using these shears because when I went to look for a sickle, first of all, nobody had them and they were so pricey. So these shears seem to be working perfectly for what I've been needing today. Okay, so far I've cleared quite a good sized patch this morning. I'm pretty impressed. It's going well, I'm enjoying my time, and I could not have better scenery or work environment to be laboring in. And my barn and home is right there. There's my bee. He's gonna be coming soon. There he is. Ooh. Hi. 
Hi, big guy. So I did discover if you're wearing shorts, having a little towel to kneel, kneel on is really the best thing to do. And I am finding, I'm only gonna cut what I can carry out of here because I don't want to lose the nutritional value of the cut hay if it rains. So thank you so much to every one of you that have subscribed to my channel or hit that like button or shared or commented on my videos. I am so grateful for every one of you and all of you have become part of my dreams. I'm going to be laying out all of this alfalfa here on these wooden pallets and I'll be turning it several times a day so that it doesn't mold and mildew in the center and dry it completely so that I can put it up and store it for my sheep for winter. Um, let me know in the comments below, have you ever brought in hay by hand? Have you ever cut it by hand and, and had to store it like this? I would love to hear your story, so leave a comment below. Again, thank you for watching. Please share my videos with everybody that you think might be interested. And don't forget to come back next time. Hey guys, okay, so I just want to say a quick shout out to Josh from The Neighbors. Um, he has offered to come and do weed whacking for the rest of that alfalfa field so that I don't have to go out there and cut it by hand. I think that is such an awesome, kind, generous thing. Thank you, Liddell. Thank you, Myrna and Josh. You guys have been incredible help. I do want to say I'm so grateful I've had this experience though because, um, you know, especially right now while it's the 4th of July, our forefathers, all these people that lived a hundred years ago and uh, everybody that fought the wars and worked those fields day in and day out, um, didn't have the comforts, didn't have the ease that we have today. And these are things that I realized as I was out there working in the fields that um, how lucky we are. All of us, we are so blessed to have what we have today. And we have it because of all of these people that came before us. Um, they worked hard, they fought valiantly, and they never gave up. And they continued to have families and they paved the way for all of us to have what we have today. So I just want to share my thoughts on that. How grateful I am for all of those that, that fought those wars and, and um, worked those fields so that I could be in this position in my life today. And um, I'm sure all of you feel the same way. So as you're out there eating that potato salad with your families and celebrating and um, doing fireworks, if you're living in the United States anyway, um, just know that, just take a moment to remember those, those really important things because it's, it's those little things um, that we do every day that can show our appreciation for what we have and where we're at in our lives and and doing little things for others can change their whole world and this wonderful family just has really changed mine this weekend so thank you very much to my neighbors and um, thank you all for watching and I am wishing you all a safe and fun happy fourth of July okay 